Hello, well, here I am lying here being lazy because uh, why not? That's what van life allows me to do. Um, so today is um, Monday, Monday, yes, and it's been pissing with rain all morning, but that doesn't matter because here I am, I've made myself at home. Um, I've, uh, I've got gas now, so I've got hot water, I can cook, uh, my fridge is working, um, I've also got uh, power to my laptop now, and also I've got broadband, fast broadband. Um, I'm filming this on my camera because I just really couldn't be bothered to get the GoPro out. I'm not making much effort at all today, I'm just enjoying chilling out. That's kind of the view through my skylight at the moment. As you can see, it's a bit windy. Clouds are blowing across the sky. Um, but tonight, hopefully, if it's clear, I might get some stars. Let's um, cut to the tour. So, um, here I've got my uh, my bedding. I've set it up so that when I go to sleep, I've got my seat swiveled so that I can leap into that very quickly and easily if I need to escape from werewolves. And I've left my keys on the seat so that I know exactly where they are and I can't miss them in the dark. Um, so I'm all ready to make an escape and I'm facing outwards if I need to. Um, on the table here I've got my broadband set up. Um, at the moment you can see that I've got uh, two bars out of three um, but that doesn't seem to mean anything because I got a very I got a very fast broadband speed so I'm happy about that. There's my laptop currently switched off. Um, I've got power here. I bought this inverter on Amazon. This was, uh, I think, 40, 40 pounds, 45 pounds, something like that. Um, it basically converts the um, cigarette lighter type socket, a 12 volt cigarette lighter socket, into a 240 volt AC power supply. And this one is a cheap one, so it only gives you one plug. Um, but I solved that problem by simply using a four way, a four way gang, and it works. So at the moment I've got my laptop plugged in and I've got my router plugged in. And up here on the control panel you can see that I've got my lights, my ring main and my water pump all switched on. Obviously this is the seating and this will fold out into the bed. I've got some uh, pillows. Um, oh look, I can show you my gas situation. So bear with me. It's difficult doing it with one hand. There you are, so you see, Kit's got gas. Don't know if you can actually see those flames or not. It's uh, lovely. In the cupboard, I've got supplies of, I've got some pot noodles, I've got some other noodles at the back there, um, I've got my mug which has got a dust rag in it just to um, protect it in case it rattles about in there, I've got some spaghetti, more noodles, I've got some cake, uh, I've got some coffee mate, I actually prefer coffee mate over milk, if given a choice of milk, cream or coffee mate I will always choose coffee mate in my coffee, I've got some more nice yummy uh, I've got some chocolate caramels there, got some mayonnaise, got some uh, cooking oil, and of course, coffee. It's a messy cupboard, but it's got stuff in it. Up here, oh look, I've got some Yorkshire tea. Uh, Yorkshire tea is the best kind of tea. I'm not a big tea drinker, uh, but when I do drink tea, I drink Yorkshire tea. And there's a box of something. Let's turn some lights on. So here I've got um, got a toilet, and this is a flushable toilet, and it also swivels round. Um, and I've got a sink, and I've got uh, a shower, sort of. So it's like a wet room. Um, it's all very small and cramped, but even I can fit in it with my vast bulk. And in there, I've got my toiletries in the cupboards. Um, so that's the bathroom, toilet area. So that's my little setup over here I've got my fridge. My fridge doesn't have anything in it at the moment. Um, it's, all right. it's got some water. My fridge has got some water in it um, but nothing else. And actually I don't have it switched on at the moment because there's no need because there's nothing in there um, but it works. And this is a three-way fridge which means um, it can be powered off the, um, off the leisure battery 
off um, the mains when I'm hooked up or off the gas, off the gas bottle. And the gas bottle heats up the doodars and that makes the inside bit go cold. It's technical stuff. Kit's camper van. I suppose I should probably tell you that my van does have a name. Um, it was given a name actually before I collected it, as soon as I knew that I was buying it. Um, me and my hubby had a little conversation and my hubby named it. Um, so uh, you will be pleased to know that the van is called Willy, because I love Willy. Anyway, that's probably it for today. I will rejoin you maybe later on, possibly on a GoPro. Who knows? Anyway, see you later. Hello. So it's 6am. I'm still at the park up. I've been awake since about 2am because uh, it turns out this is quite a busy place at night. I have a feeling this might be a dogging site, or if not dogging, then certainly some sort of extremely suspicious activities. Cars have been circling me pretty much all night and crawling in a creepy sort of way around and around me and pulling up next to me and shining their headlights on me for a while and then driving off and then coming back again. So I've had quite a disturbed night. I've barely slept at all. And uh, it's still busy now at 6am, so now the dog walkers are arriving. Um, I'm going to have a nap because I'm tired. Oh, by the way, uh, I'm lying on the sofa at the moment for comfort. Um, I did, I did sleep in my bed. I, uh, I made the bed. It slides out from under the sofa. So I had the proper double bed. Um, but when I got woken up at about 2, 2.30 in the morning, I decided to put the bed away and just go on the sofa because I wanted to be able to move around more freely. Um, but for now, I think I might try and get a bit more sleep. Now that the uh, now that the doggers have left and the dog walkers have arrived, I feel a little bit safer going back to sleep. So I'm going to have a nap for a bit, and I'll see you later. <laughs> Hello, hello. Well, it's early. It's 8.38 a.m. and um, I've driven to a place called... Do you know what? I've forgotten the name of the place. It's a road. It's a road in the middle of the countryside. There are sheep here. I'm looking at sheep now. Um, there are some pheasants. Uh, I may try and get a bit of wildlife photography done while I'm here um, but uh, I'm parked up because I found this place on park for night um, and it seems nice and deserted quiet peaceful uh, moderately safe I obviously won't know until the night time I'm actually planning to not stay here tonight um, but uh, I'm checking this place out during the day and I'm going to use it for making tea and just chilling out without people around um, and then later on I'm planning on driving to a pub or an inn uh, that I found on Park for Night that looks rather nice um, and I may even go inside and have some hot food um, and that'll probably be the culmination of this week's van life adventure uh, but for the time being I'm in a lay-by in a quiet country lane surrounded by sheep and pheasants and I'm about to make a cup of tea. Okay so I had planned on doing stuff. I was going to put my strip lights in. I was going to attempt to install a security camera. I might still do those things later uh, but at the moment I'm quite enjoying this park up um, in the middle of fields. It's really quite peaceful and nice. Um, so I've got my diesel heater on and it's making the van really nice and toasty. Also it smells like hot chocolate, I think. I think that's what I'm smelling, hot chocolate. It smells delightful anyway. It's very 
pleasing sweet smell coming from the diesel heater um, and um, it's pissing with rain outside so I'm not going to be doing any wildlife photography at the moment um, so I'm actually sitting here watching a documentary about Donald Trump because why not um, I've got my laptop set up it's all powered up uh, I've got fabulous uh, broadband speeds um, so I'm just watching a bit of TV on Amazon um, enjoying the heat enjoying a cup of coffee generally chilling out in the countryside and I will show you the view from my window so that's what I'm looking at you can't really see very much because of all the rain um, but that's what I'm looking at out of my side window and I'm um, just watching a documentary on my laptop about Trump got a cup of coffee um, as you can see I'm not too far from civilization I think there are some sort of farmhouses or something up the hill there um, got my slippers finally remembered my slippers and there you can see one of the outlets for the diesel heater there's another outlet there there's another outlet there there's one in the bathroom and um, there's the view out of the back window I've got a kind of a tree and a fence type thing um, here's a pile of bedding and basically I'm all snuggly and warm and cozy and toasty and just enjoying a nice rainy afternoon in my van in the middle of the fields. So that's my current situation and um, I will update you if I do anything more interesting. There's been a change of plan. I've developed a leak. Oh, I suppose this is par for the course. These things happen. I'm, uh, I'm currently driving along an unnamed road somewhere where there are fields and mud and rain. I'm, uh, I'm heading back to the motorhome place that sold me my van. I've phoned them up and uh, they've told me to come in. Hopefully I'll get this leak repaired as soon as possible but uh, I've got a horrible feeling that this might be the end of my first week a little bit premature um, I'll be gutted if I don't get to spend the night at the uh, at the park up that I discovered because it's a really nice one and I had plans I was going to go to the uh, to the ferry boat in and have a meal and uh, hopefully spend the night in their car park as well so I had uh, had a two so I had at least another two nights planned which uh, I may have to cancel and now I've got major van anxiety I've got the anxiety about the leak obviously and damage that that may cause um, I've also got anxiety about the fact that I may have to leave my van at the uh, at the service center and it's got all my stuff in it. I mean, literally all my stuff. It's got all my filming equipment, my laptops, cameras, everything. Everything is in the van. I don't know what to do. So here I am at Oak Tree Motorhomes and I'm waiting for servicing to get back to me so that we can fix this leaky roof. Hiya Matt, Hicks in
perfect. Yep, yeah, that's perfect. Cheers. Thank you so much. Yeah, I really appreciate no it. At all. all goes well for you. Cheers. See you later. See you later. Hello, I don't know if you can see me or even hear me. Um, it's 5.30 a.m. I've been awake since 1 a.m. because some people who were parked up in the lay-by next to me were being noisy all night. Selfish people. But I guess that's part of the course. I'm not really that bothered. I think I had two and a half or three hours sleep, so I'll be okay for a bit. Um, there's a raging storm going on outside. It's actually quite exciting. There's heavy, heavy wind and heavy, heavy rain. And uh, it's lovely, actually. I find it very calming. The rain is beating against the roof of the van and the wind is rocking me gently. It's very nice. Anyway time to get up. Hello, it's me again. Well, it's uh, it's about 8am and uh, would you believe it, I finally found the ferry boat in. I know, it's a miracle. Um, I'm parked up next to the river and um, the inn is just, uh, I don't know, a couple of hundred yards down the road. And there is a big car park at the inn and they accept motorhomes. Um, so I could park up there, but I wanted a view. So I've parked next to the river and I'm just watching the sunrise over the distant trees. Um, there's a field of sheep and there are swans and ducks and, well, waterfowl. And um, it's just very pretty. So I've arrived at the ferry boat inn. I'm currently sitting in the Hungry Horse, which is the restaurant portion of the inn. Um, it's a chain. I like Hungry Horse. They do good food. Unfortunately, I arrived too early for a main meal, so I'm going to have breakfast. Uh, but I'm sitting in a window seat opposite where I parked the van, so I can keep an eye on that. And uh, I'm going to eat my breakfast and then probably sign off. So I've had my breakfast and it was absolutely scrumptious. Um, as I said, I really wanted a big main meal, uh, but it was too early. They were only serving breakfasts. But luckily for me, the breakfast menu at Hungry Horse includes steak and chips. So that's what I had and it was absolutely delicious. Thank you very much. Um, and on that note, I think I'll call it a day. Thank you very, very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did and you haven't already, you know what to do. Please hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, share, comment, do all the good stuff. And I will see you next time. See you later. <laughs>